I'm Jamal Wilson. I fly a Cherokee 180 based at beautiful Maryland Airport in Indian Head, Maryland. And I'm David Gray, the Surveillance and Broadcast Services Program Manager at the FAA. I've recently installed ADS-B out equipment on my aircraft, and I've asked David to come out and walk me through some of the benefits of the equipment. It's great to be back. I'm looking forward to hearing about your experience and about your equipment. So David, you mentioned before that there was a way for me to go in and do a performance report and make sure that my ADS-B out equipment is functioning properly. Do you want to walk me through that process? Yeah, let's do it. Uh, so go to your favorite search engine and okay. type in uh, FAA ADS-B performance report. Okay, I have that here. All right, hit enter. Comes up as in the list. Um, and you'll scroll down and start asking you for some information about your flight and okay. about your aircraft. So pick the date mm -hmm. um, and enter in your N number or your ICAO code. Also going to ask for your name and email address so we can send you the report. Okay. Um, and then we're going to ask some questions about your um, equipment. So uh, which link you were transmitting on, the manufacturer, the make and model, those kinds of things. Okay. If you don't see your manufacturer or the model of your uh, equipment, it's okay to, um, after you look and you confirm it's not there, you could scroll down and uh, enter the information as best you know it in the notes section. Okay. And while I'm trying to find my installer, how long should I expect it to take between the time I submit this and the time I receive it? Well, we say it takes about 30 minutes, but it really depends on the demand on the servers. Um, it could take a little bit longer, but usually it's actually faster. Okay. So I'll click Submit, and now I have a performance report to look at. So you want to walk me through the information that I see here? Sure. And this came in your email, right? Right. So up here on the first page, you've got uh, your aircraft information with the tail number and the time and date that you... Uh, that we detected the flight, mm -hmm. uh, what uh, link we saw you on, so 1090 for your aircraft. Mm -hmm. If you scroll down, it also talks about how long the flight was, so your flight was three hours. Um, so if you scroll down a little bit more, we have a summary. Mm -hmm. uh, you see there are no exceptions for, uh, for this flight, okay. so that looks really good. Yeah. If you're a detailed person, you can keep going, and it's got all the various data elements um, that we measure. Uh, as well as the uh, any kind of fail failures that we might have detected. These small numbers like 0.13 or 0.02 are really insignificant and uh, don't uh, indicate a problem with your equipment. And if anything started to fail with a large enough percentage where it caused a flag, I mean, what do I do with that information? Well, you would take this report and you would contact your uh, repair station mm -hmm. and uh, you'd share it with them and they would help you to troubleshoot the problem. Okay. Um, there are also some uh, issues that uh, we might find from the FAA side uh, in mining all the data that we have and just looking to make sure that uh, we understand how the system is working as a whole, the NAS. Mm -hmm. um, and in that case, if we find something, uh, you may get a call uh, or a letter or something like that from Flight Standards telling you that you have a problem. If that happens, they're really trying to help you. Um, they know that in the cockpit there's not an indication that the equipment is broadcasting all these elements properly. Right, right. Uh, so they just really want to make sure that you're aware that there's an issue and help you to get it fixed. Okay, good. That's good information. And I should do this periodically every six months, every year? I'd say do it at least once a year. I mean, it's free. It took us, what, two minutes to fill out? Right. And, um, and there's no harm in, in doing it. Okay. Uh, so you could do it every time you fly if you want. Awesome. I'll do that. Thanks.